go back. Seven. <laughs> caterpillars mm -hmm. all right so you're keeping them in that Pokemon box and what are their names mine is spot spot and what's your name of yours Pearl fluffy fluffy yeah. fluffy's pretty cute and you guys have been feeding them Mom, there's a, a, a baby one that's really, really small. It's you have a baby small. one in there too? Yeah, it's wandering around somewhere. Oh. I can't find it. It's really small. Mm. The fastest cat is, is it eating? Uh, no, it's one. I don't know what it's doing actually. That's pretty cute. Put uh, your finger next to it so we can see how small it is. That's pretty cute. Yeah. A little <laughs> teeny tiny one. So what do you, how do you feed your caterpillars? What do you give them? Um, leaves. We give, you give them leaves? And we, every day we get some new ones. We get some new leaves. What about water? Have you given any water yet? No. I don't, maybe, you I should, don't, maybe you should put a little thing of water in there, huh? I don't know if they drink or not. I think because I don't think they just eat. That's all they you do. You think they just get the water from the leaves? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, that's why fresh leaves would be important, I guess. Yeah. So. Yeah. That's fun. So we got Spot and Fluffy. Why'd you name your Spot, Pete? Because it has little spots at the front. Well, let's see. Hold them out. Oh yeah, those cute little eyes. Let's see if we can get... Oh, Spot, you're so cute. What a cute caterpillar. Alright. Love it. Oh, look at him munching. Spot, you're so cute. <laughs> you guys going for a walk with your pets? You, need leashes. you gotta take them for a walk, you know. Yeah, Make there, sure they there, get their exercise. Are there caterpillar leashes you can get What's that? anywhere? You know, mm -hmm. you put your dog on a leash so it won't run away. You don't want to lose your caterpillar, so maybe you should get a leash. Well, we're getting this little. Yeah, but that's too big. No, get a real small leash, a real little one, and then just like walk along on the road with it. <laughs> you gotta work. Oh. No. All right. No, whatever. Go have fun getting your slushies. Don't drop your friends. They don't like getting dropped. Mom, can you um, drive us there? Uh, I guess so. Okay, so you guys are going to get slushies and look for um, a cage. A, maybe a caterpillar cage. terrarium or something at the store. Well, Pearl's gonna buy it and I'm gonna pay her. I'm gonna pay some money back because I can't take the Yeah, you can't find your money, huh, Pete? Well, when you find it, you'll get it. So the kids get an, a monthly allowance. We just do twice their age. So if you are seven years old, like Asher is, you get $14. That way when we're out at places like this and everybody's asking for something, we can say, would you like to buy one? Like today, Asher wants to get a slushie and Peter wants one too. But when asked if he wants to pay for it with his own money, he changed his mind because he realizes that's not worth the $2 to him. That, <clears throat> that helps us. We like that, but sometimes we do feel bad that they live like kings for like one week of the month, buying like candy and slushies and and then have nothing for the rest of the month. We're not sure if we're teaching them good lessons yet. The older ones are better. I'm trying to. We buy, need to actually maybe have some actual lessons, money. some Dave Ramsey curriculum on how to spend money. I'm All right, so we're here. Let's go see what the store has. Yay! Okay, let's go. Be careful, Pearl. That seems like Fluffy could easily fall. You didn't bring the box? Yep. Okay. Because we don't want the box. The country store. Come on, Ash. It says to use this door. Do they have anything like that? They They have that little thing. It won't crawl out because there's a big hole. Oh, that's true. There is a big hole. Okay, well, let's keep looking. You'll get a slushy? Okay. Order her right here. That's really big, though. Mm -hmm. Do you have any yet? Do you 
Okay, come on, let's go. Asher's got a slushy. Good. What flavor? Blueberry. Blueberry. Okay, let's go. Come on, caterpillar caretakers. We've never been car sticker people, but um, we can't really see out these back windows anyway, so I'm excited to fill it up with stickers of everywhere we've been. We only have Monticello and DC so far. So, can't wait till this whole back window's full of stickers. It'll be so fun. Esther doesn't think she's very good at putting buns in her hair that they all fall out, but as I told her, I think her buns are great. I think you've got great buns. Super beautiful Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Farmers everywhere you look. Huge farming equipment. That's awesome. I bet you that thing can go like anywhere. Ooh. That's a big wheel. Them some big, big wheels. wheels. Look this is a cute little, little house. Um, I think we're just going to Walmart. We were gonna go to Amish country. Now we're just going to Walmart. The Typical. Amish store is really far away. And the dairy is closed because it's Memorial Day. Walmart wins again over Amish people. <laughs> They're even taking down the Amish Walmart. The Amish can't even survive in the face of Walmart's empire. Mom. What? I, I know it's over there. <laughs> that was funny. I'm not gonna eat it. Mom. We're trying to find this thing. We haven't found it yet, huh, Pete? It wasn't in the gardening section or the, or the pet section. Apparently Walmart doesn't know about caterpillar pets, do they? Surely Walmart believes in kids catching bugs still, so... Where, oh where, could the terrariums be? Not down here. Mm -hmm. Terrariums? There's lots of options for killing insects, but not a whole lot for keeping. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what so do we got? I decided to do this little fish tank. Okay. And then, um, Ooh. I guess when we get home, we can get some. Uh, no, no, we don't need that, Eve. Eve has to stop at almost every mirror and check herself out. Do you look good? Yeah. Okay, you look good. <laughs> Let's see. You looking good? Looking good. Okay, let's go. So we got this little little terrarium from Walmart for six dollars. Put some dirt in it, some maple leaves since they've been eating those, so we figure they like them. Maple leaves? A maple tree? Um, I think so. Or no, not maple. I'm sorry, oak tree, oak leaves. And here comes Fluffy and Spot. And there's one teeny. Oh, and the baby, huh? And the baby's called teeny. All right, Pearl. Fluffy, welcome to your new home. And then Spot. And we, we had to find the guy. Most of he's on the little the guy. So now we'll just wait for Fluffy and. And Spot to and Tiny and Tiny. tiny. We, we hope that Teeny has. Have you guys seen Teeny eating these leaves? Because oh, no, not really. He might not like this kind. We might need to find a kind that he likes, or we might have to let him go if we can't. But, but they'll just go maybe ahead. Maybe he eats whenever we're not there. And then we have to figure out what they're going to become after they emerge from their cocoon, don't we? Yeah, it's perfect for them to fly out big enough. Okay. Not so big as be. Let's, they might have to let's get out the computer and look, okay guys? Okay, I'm You coloring? Oh, are you gonna write your name? Eve. Good job! Yahoo! Looks like an alien. It's an alien. Spike ball. Spike ball. Just wanna have something on it. Eastern? Eastern. Okay, maybe you can click on it and find out more about it. So it's not going to become a butterfly, but a moth. 
Yeah, but that's well, where's the other one? That's a is pretty that moss, don't you think? Too? No, what about that baby one? We have to search up the, what they look like when they're babies. Yeah, that's a very small. Is he eating that? Let's see. So that one is Spot. But we want that one right behind it. Let's see. It's hard to see. What's he doing? Maybe he doesn't like those leaves. He's just looking but left and right. Back and back and is he trying to spin a web? Maybe. I see lots of shoes in here on the floor. That need to maybe it's away. spinning a web. Do you Guys, think he, maybe? Yeah, I see something. Something coming out. Yeah, he's looking right there. Right there. Uh, he might be trying. He's to making himself a little little web. Little so he can live. Little in it? little butterflies and little moths come from little caterpillars, I guess. Can we search up baby caterpillars and see what that does? Well, we don't think he's a baby. If he's already making his his um, chrysalis, then he's probably not a baby. He's just tiny. I mean, th have you ever seen a tiny butterfly or a tiny moth? You haven't? Well, then you haven't been looking. There's lots of them. Esther does um, speech therapy practice with Eve. Huh. She gets paid $2 a practice. Okay, I'll get video of it. You go ahead. Okay, long blow. Tip. Scoot back. Seven. Esther, do you know what this does for Eve? Um, well, part of it is that because it's helping her so her lips comes out because normally her lips like, come and out. Like, and it, it helps like when you're talking you're pushing air out as you talk, you say the words, and this helps her learn to push the air out. And to develop the muscles she needs. Yeah. All right. Good job, Eve. Keep going. I'm <laughs> doing it. Team Eve, just do it. It's awesome to have older kids that can help you out so well, and they do. Our older kids are awesome. Our younger kids do. We love animals, but when you already have nine kids in an RV, having a pet in here with you seems like a pretty crazy idea. So instead, we have caterpillars. A story of love. Now the kids are watching a documentary on butterflies and other things. A mysterious force, relentless. Our style of homeschooling is very child-led, so something they're interested in is what they learn about, because when you're interested in something, you pursue it with a passion and you actually learn really well. The brain's actually so much more engaged. I'm sure you all know that though you spent 12 years in elementary through high school, there's very little that you remember because you weren't that engaged. So when they're interested like they are today in caterpillars, we go with it and they learn a lot and it's pretty cool actually. Just brushing up for our trip to Philadelphia tomorrow. It's all about right now just them talking about independence. Or as an option, you know. So, Dad, I was just talking about um, unschooling and child-led homeschooling. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that a huge part of doing that well is modeling that for the kids, don't you think? Yeah. That when they see it when us being interested in things and reading about them, right? I think so. Yeah. I don't do as much reading as I'd like to do, but... But I think if you show them how to learn, then they'll apply that to all the things they're interested in. Yeah. I think we both do that. Even if you're not reading novels on history, you're looking up how to fix things and... Watching a lot of TV to learn. Learn about the Gilmore Girls. That's really important. Yeah, it's classic. Rory, so. you know. Rory's really intelligent, so it really helps us to watch Gilmore Girls. Totally. <laughs> the last one. There comes the storm. Looks similar, I guess. The wind's blowing. <laughs> yeah. Kids are playing over the street. It's so much cooler. It feels so good. The wind! I think that We might just want to make it tighter with the new things. Right now, we're kind of having a drama. Uh, do we take down the awning or not? We're new, and this wind is blowing. 
and um, it's moving it, and so Mike's a little yeah. stressed. Where's the bouncy ball? And I don't know what we no, should you do. Then found it blue, and it's we don't know where the bouncy ball is, so no. that's the newbie problem. Nobody no. else is taking theirs in that has these things, so we just kind of, I mean, just, if we were to take it in, we'd have to take the lights off and then take this black thing off. See that little give it does? That's stressing Mike out. Yeah, there's this is tighter. So Mike's doing figuring something out right now. The rain started, huh, Ash? Here who's who's still out there? Pearl and Hester and Pearl and Peter. Hester and Pearl and Peter are still out in the rain. Mm. What did we tell you? Did we tell you it was gonna rain? Yep. I think it really wet. That's good. Here they come. Esther's on that side right there. Oh, there's Esther over there. I stand directly. Here they come. <laughs> A little bit wet? I'm a bit wet, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> did that lightning scare you guys? No. The lightning. Did it scare me? There was me? some lightning and thunder. Did you? Did it scare I you? Saw I, I saw lightning. All right. I retried. Glad you're home. What?